Hello everyone. Um, I'm here today to share what I have made for the hashtag Pirate Pretties Jewelry Challenge. This is hosted by Angela, who is Pirate Pretties Jewelry here on YouTube. And each month, um, those that participate upload videos on the 15th at any time during the day. Now today is the 16th and I had been thinking about what I was going to do for this challenge for like the last two weeks off and on coming up with beads I was going to use different metal findings um even trying to think in my head if I had skulls or had the components you know in my jewelry stash um, or if I needed to go look for something in stores um I worked on it for about two weeks and then once the 14th came I realized this was at about 10 o'clock at night I realized that I had not only my Passion for Purple collab do up on the 15th, but also this challenge. Well, I had to do the Passion for Purple because that is my own actual collab. So I had to hurry up and get my butt moving on that so I could get that video. And then this, I just wasn't able to get done that night after I'd been thinking about it and thinking about it for over two weeks. So anyways, I'm doing it a day late, so sorry about that, Angela. Um, hopefully in the future, I can have all of them up on the correct day, but um, hopefully you've seen the other um, participants' videos. I've watched several of them and they're really cool. Um, so each month we, this is actually like a birthstone jewelry challenge and what that means is each month the collar that we are to use is that month's birthstone collar so for july we are using the collar ruby um, now there's three different elements or like three different components to this um, challenge um, there's a metal type a project type and a fun element to add in the metal type to use for july is gunmetal or gold um, the project type that we were to make was earrings, and then the fun element was to use skulls or owls. And it was when I was watching Angela's video, and she was mentioning the pro like um, the components for the August projects, and get over here to the project type, and she had mentioned bookmark. That's when I realized that I screwed up. I was so focused on the collar and the metal and the fun element that I totally missed see, seeing or remembering what the project type was because the first thing that I made <clears throat> was this owl bookmark, which I absolutely love. I purchased this owl from um, Joann's and that was the only thing that I actually bought for this collab. Um, I could not find, I have a bunch of skull beads because I was always purchasing them from Joann's, or not Joann's, from Michael's, and Joann's has them too, but I have these jumbo skull skulls that are about this big, and I was trying to find those because I thought that'd make a really cool, like a tassel pendant, and um, I just couldn't find them, and I couldn't even find any of my smaller, well, I found some smaller skull beads, but they were not the right color. They were more they were pastels which i can't wait to jump into those and they were glazed and they were just gorgeous so i found this owl which i absolutely love at joann's i love how it's got all these mixed metals together it's got gold and silver and sort of two different tones of silver it's got this like copper antique copper brassy looking um fit uh, metal as well and it's got the little heart-shaped belly, and it's got the gears and clocks and all kinds of really cool designs. <clears throat> it's very textured. Um, <clears throat> there is some weight to it, so I was actually thinking about making a pendant with it at first, which that still would have been wrong for this month's um, challenge, since I was supposed to make earrings. So I decided to, to make it into a bookmark and I found, well, in my stash, I had this really gorgeous, this long like shepherd's hook um, bookmark. So I just took a strand, this strand of beads um, is one that I've had for a long time from um, Joann's, it's the Hildy and Joe brand. And it just had these really pretty red and sort of a antique silver um, finish beads, which look a lot like gunmetal to me. So it's very well, it's like red and gunmetal. And um, so I just went with the largest focal bead from that strand and added it to the center and used a lot of the um, smaller like spacers and things from the bead strand and just made this really cool little bookmark. 
and it's got a good amount of weight to it, so it should hold in a book really nicely. So once I realized I was supposed to make earrings, I did have some beads left over <clears throat> that I had originally thought I wanted to turn into a bracelet some, of some kind. But then when I realized I needed to make earrings for this project, uh, this design instantly popped into my head. And I love that I was able to make it exactly like I was envisioning it. It doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes I'll think of something and by the time I actually get finished making it, it looks nothing like I had originally started out to do. But this is actually the design that I had seen when I um, was thinking earrings. I wanted to use these um, smaller focal beads off of that strand as like a focal on an earring. And look at all that bling on there. That is just gorgeous with that silver right down the middle, the silver stripe. And then I had these large flower bead caps in my stash and they're usually not the right size for the beads that I'm planning on using. I've tried to use them on a lot of other projects. They just didn't look right. They didn't sit right um, on the beads, but these were like perfect fit. So I was glad to be able to use these because I have a ton of these in my stash that I just need to start trying to, to work in, work into projects. <clears throat> and I just used a um, 18 gauge wire to do this bottom part. <clears throat> So that I was able to, um, cause I thought this is a little bit of, has a little bit of weight to it and I wanted something chunky to kind of hold it up. And then I just took my fingers and my thumb and just kind of worked until I got a nice little bend. <clears throat> got a catch in my throat. <clears> throat> so I had a nice little bend to it cause I did have it straight out. I mean, it was just coming like straight that way. But then this bottom part kept wanting to turn upside down and the chain was kinking and it was just making a mess. So I got it the right direction that I wanted it and then angled these into a, like a slight bend. And now it hangs really nicely. Plus I just think it gives it a nice shape. And then I just used these two beads at the top and I just put one little spacer between, that was from my stash, added the ear wire and this little scrap chain was already on my table, perfect length. So I was able to use that up <clears throat> and I got this really cute, fun pair of earrings. There's a little bit of weight to it because of this bottom section here, but it's not like super heavy and I just love the design. I think it's really, really cool. So those are my projects for the month of July using the collar Ruby. And um, again, <laughs> the project for August is supposed to be bookmarks, but I love making bookmarks. So it'll be no problem at all for me to make more bookmarks for next month. So this is just a little um, sneaky peek of what might come in <laughs> August. So, and I don't think I went over that in case anyone wants to do this next month. Um, just use the hashtag Pirate Pretties Jewelry Challenge. And for August, it is to use the color Peridot, Peridot, I don't know how you pronounce that, silver or bronze as your metals. Um, to project type is bookmark. And fun element is to add tassels or dangles, which I love doing all of that. So this is going to be a fun month for August. Can't wait to do that. Hopefully, I'll get started early enough that I don't <laughs> run out of time. Um, so, anyone, anyways, thank you so much, everyone, for stopping by. Hope you all were able to catch the videos that were posted yesterday. And um, I will see you all in the next video. Take care.